I'm Kimberly. And I'm Jocelyn. A fat quarter shop. And it's so Emma. And we're here today to talk to you about the decade the, the halls, halls quilts, quilts along. along. Ten, ten fabrics, ten, ten blocks, blocks, ten years. And we're on our fourth installment to make the Santa stocking block. And so these are our blocks. We're going to make two Santa stockings. So Jocelyn, tell me how you designed these blocks. Well, uh, stockings are pretty iconic for Christmas too. And uh, we just wanted to take that stocking and jazz it up a little bit. So we did um, two cute tiny little rows of chevrons on each stocking. And we added a little focal print in the cuff right there. Um, I feel like usually people try to go very neutral there and we wanted to spice it up by, by doing that. Um, and then we just did two complementary colors, red and green, for the stocking so that you got a good range of color there. Um, so yeah, that is the Santa stocking block. So make sure you check out our blocks on Flickr that other people are doing and load your blocks because we're really excited that all of you are putting your blocks. We love seeing them. And so today we're going to talk about three different methods in quilting. The first method is going to be flying geese. These are just different flying geese. So right here you have 12 small flying geese, so we're going to talk about how to make a flying geese block. We're going to also talk about corner square triangles. You can see the bottom of the stocking uses three different corner square triangles. And then we're going to just talk about straight quarter inch seams, which is what you would use here and here. So we're excited today, so um, join along with us as we sew. So now we're ready to start sewing. And we talked about this in our first video, and we talked about using the row marking safety pins by Collins, and we write all of our patterns with letters, so we have all the letters and everything you need to cut. So what we recommend is that you cut and label everything. And if you don't want to use these, you can definitely use just small bits of paper, or you can use post-it notes. So we've got everything cut and we're ready to sew. So the first step is to sew one C rectangle to one I rectangle and press towards the blue. On our instructions, when you see an arrow, that means to press that direction. So we've already done that step and you can see how simple that is. Just make sure you're using an accurate quarter inch seam and having a quarter inch foot on your machine is very helpful. The next step for the chevrons in the stockings, we're gonna make four different flying geeses six times. So you're gonna make six, 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 and six. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. And it's very important on this step to press the right direction. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make one of these because you make all four exactly the same way. So you're gonna use your fabric F rectangle and two fabric L squares. And you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna draw from corner to corner, and you're gonna sew on this seam. So you want it to be very accurate and straight from corner to corner. And we're gonna to go to the sewing machine and sew, sew this. Okay, so now we're ready to sew. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew straight on the line, and you might see this beam coming out. Um, my sewing machine has a laser light that I actually follow. It's the Baby Lock Crescendo. And so I'm gonna follow that. It's very important that you use a 2.0 stitch length so that it's not too large of a stitch. And all you're going to do is sew from corner to corner. Okay, so let's go to the ironing board now. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to trim approximately a quarter inch to the side. And we're going to set the seam and then we're gonna press towards the red on this side. So it's very important that you follow the pressing instructions in the pattern since all 12 of these flying geese go together. They need, the seams need to nest. So now we're gonna attach the other square to the other side. So now you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna trim quarter inch. It doesn't have to be exact. Set your seam. And then this time we're gonna press inside toward the white. So we're going to lay it flat, kind of finger press it, and just press. And so you've got now on the back, one goes towards the red and one goes towards the white. And now we're going to talk about how we're going to assemble all of this together. So now we're going to talk about sewing the cuff on the Santa stocking. So you've already made your six flying geese, six flying geese, six flying geese, and six flying geese. 
So now what we need to do is put them into rows. So if you follow the instructions right here and you lay your three together, you're going to sew with a quarter inch seam. You're going to press towards the right, just like the instructions say. And that will look like this. And you're going to make two sets of those. And then we're going to do something very similar with the inverse, except we're going to press the other way. You're going to make these three, but you're going to press this direction instead to the left. So that's going to look like this. So when you have that, and you're going to go to join them together, your seams will nest perfectly because one will be going to the left and one will be going to the right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew all my rows and we're going to sew everything into a big section to make this section of the cuff. Okay, so now we have already sewn our cuff. And then we're going to be sewing this section right here that is sewing the top of the stocking. So we've already sewn our rows, four different rows, very similar to this, and we're going to line them up according to the pattern. So we're going to grab our two M rectangles from our stack. We're going to start here. We're just going to lay our rows according to the diagram. And so now you've got your rows. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sew with a quarter inch seam each of these. And when we're done, this block unfinished is gonna be five and a half by six and a half. So let's go to our sewing machines and sew these together. So now we have our rows sewn and I like to pin. So I'm gonna put the fabrics right sides together and I'm going to pin at the very end. I'm just gonna pin along feel like it keeps your seams flat and makes everything much more accurate. And I'm just going to sew and you can see I'm using a quarter inch foot on my machine and you're just going to sew straight down, all the way down. So now we've sewn the first section and I'm just going to keep chain piecing. I've already pinned the rest of our sections and we're just going to sew, keep sewing. So now we've sewn our stocking body unit and you can see it looks like this. We went ahead and sewed this section and then we added a fabric B rectangle to the left of the unit and we pressed towards the white. And now we're going to make the bottom of the stocking. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one fabric J rectangle from your stack that's labeled, two fabric H squares. And one fabric D square from your stack. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw from corner to corner on the wrong side of the white squares. And then I'm going to go ahead and just pin where they go on the unit so that when we go to the sewing machine, we don't have to think about that. So in the bottom right is the larger square and on the two left units are the smaller squares. And we're gonna go ahead and pin and sew. So now we have them all laid out and pinned and we're gonna just sew from corner to corner. Now we have them all sewed on. Okay, so on my sewing table, I keep a little bin that I keep all my scraps in. That way, if you want to use them, if they're big enough, save them for future projects or just a way to keep them out of the way. So on this section, we're going to do the same method we did on the flying geese. You're going to cut approximately a quarter inch to the edge of your seam. And they're just going to go right in the bucket. And then we're just going to set our seam and then press our seams open just like this. So now we are gonna finish our stocking block. I'm gonna show you how you finish each of your stockings. What you're gonna do is you're gonna sew this unit to this unit and you're gonna press down. And then you're gonna add a fabric E rectangle to the right and you're gonna press towards the fabric E rectangle. 
And then you're gonna look really closely at your instructions. The cuff obviously goes at the top of all and presses open, but you're gonna add this fabric A rectangle to the bottom of the red, and then on the green stocking, you're gonna add it to the top. And then you're gonna join those two together, and then you're gonna have two beautiful stocking units that you can see right here, and they go all the way here. And this is a very easy block. One of the easiest out of the whole program, and it's big and takes up lots of space, and we hope you love our stocking. Thanks for watching our Santa stocking tutorial today. We hope you've enjoyed all of our techniques. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at Kimberly at FatQuarterShop.com. And in two weeks, come back for our Season of Giving blocks. To see our pretty presents. Yeah. Join us then.